It is estimated that 70% of adults experience at least one traumatic event in their lifetime. 20% of people who experience a traumatic event will develop PTSD. So let's just be honest that chances are all of us are dealing with trauma in some form. This channel is all about healing from trauma so you can feel safe, whole, and worthy of love. Please join us and remember to subscribe and click the bell to be sure you don't miss a thing. If you want to understand more about trauma and the body, check out our other videos. What is the body's natural reaction to trauma? And can trauma be stored in the body? So how do we release trauma that is trapped in the body? There are many great modalities to aid in healing, such as yoga, massage, EMDR, and EFT. There is a correlation between breathing, mindfulness, and moving your body to release trapped emotion. If you are dealing with trapped emotion, I would challenge you to pick one of these modalities we are talking about today, or another one that you are aware of, and make it part of your daily or weekly self-care. For yoga, look for a trauma-informed or trauma-sensitive yoga class. There are many wonderful free resources online. If you have watched a previous video where I talk about can trauma be trapped in the body, I shared with you my experience about back pain. Because of my lifelong challenge with back pain, I have done yoga for over 20 years, primarily for relief from physical pain. I'd like to share an enlightening moment I had with yoga. I was in my 30s at a weekend getaway for a friend's birthday. Another friend was leading us in a morning yoga class. This class wasn't about all the cool ways you could twist or turn and crazy poses you could hold. It was about loving and accepting yourself and your body. Now, I'm not someone who has struggled with body image issues, disliking or rejecting the way that I looked. So I thought, that's a nice intention. It doesn't really apply to me, but I'm sure it'll be a nice experience anyway. As we did different movements with breathing and the occasional affirmation by the teacher, all of a sudden, it hit me. I had always disparaged my body and particularly my back for all the physical challenges that I have had in my life. All the physical pain that I had experienced on a daily basis. I remembered crying at seven years old, trying to practice the violin or piano and not being able to make it through 15 minutes of practice because of the pain. I remember after going through hours and hours a day of physical therapy exercises, to be able to walk again after a car accident and how it took me two years before I could run again. I remembered lying in bed, not knowing if I was going to have the mental fortitude to get out of bed and take care of my kids that day because of the pain. In all those experiences, I saw my body and the fact that it felt pain as the problem. I even thought it was the cause of the pain that I was experiencing in that moment, I realized that I had always, to some extent, rejected and disliked my body for inconveniencing my life, instead of appreciating it for its fortitude and resilience. I mean, it was my choice to jump off cliffs, ride motorcycles, and drive my car too fast. Those accidents were probably born out of other traumatic experiences and emotions that were happening at the time, but we don't need to go into that right now. In that moment, I had a huge aha that this entire time my body was trying to tell me that something was wrong, that I was out of alignment, that bearing my pain and traumatic experiences was not going to help me, it was only going to hurt. I spent the rest of that yoga class mindfully sending love and appreciation to each area of my body, telling it what I loved and appreciated about it. Believe me, it is perfectly okay to send love and appreciation to your ankles. Ankles need love, just like the back and neck does. Now, your experience probably has different details than mine, but the question I want you to ask yourself is what part of yourself do you believe is unlovable, unwanted, or unworthy? This is what I want you to focus on as we do this next exercise. We are going to do EFT tapping or the emotional freedom technique. EFT is an incredibly easy, helpful, and simple way to address emotions or feelings in the body. It's an easy process. It involves tapping different locations on your face, collarbone, underarm, and the top of your head. And it is so easy, you can even do it with small children. I've done it with my kids as young as three and four years old. And sometimes when they're coming from a place of emotion 
and they don't even really cognitively know what's going on for them, but they're saying things about themselves like, I don't love myself, I don't like myself. They're often speaking the words to let you know how they're feeling. I do this activity with them. And so I'm gonna ask you now to do this with me. And we're just gonna do uh, three simple affirmations. Typically when I do this, I always end, start and end with I am loved because at, every, at the root of every deep-seated emotion or trauma is a belief that we are unlovable or unworthy or unworthy of love. And finding that understanding and that belonging in our life, even if it's not something that we've had before, which is often the case if one has experienced childhood trauma or trauma at a young age. So this is gonna be fun. Do it along with me. I'm gonna move my hair. <laughs> so if you don't remember exactly what points to tap in the future, but you're wanting to do this, an easy Google search of EFT and going to images will pull up some great PDFs. So take your two fingers, left or right hand, whatever works best for you, and we're gonna tap just above the eyebrow. And we're gonna say the affirmations while we're tapping. And I usually, you can do whatever speed you like, um, but I usually just do a few seconds per spot. So we're gonna start out and we're gonna say, I am loved. I am cared for. I am supported. I am appreciated. I am wanted. I am loved, I am cared for. And that is one full set when we do the top of the head. And we're gonna go back and do it again. And usually I do a total of three, three cycles through the face, starting with above the eyebrow, side of the eye, below the nose, under the chin, under the arm, and then top of the head. And you're repeating the affirmations that entire time. So I'm gonna start with the affirmations again. I am loved. I am cared for, I am supported, I am appreciated, and I am loved. That is an easy, simple way that you can do at any time, even in the bathroom at work, to release the emotions that you are feeling, whether it's that you are unloved, unsupported, uncared for, whatever that painful emotion that is coming up in that moment where you've been triggered what you want to put into an affirmation is the opposite of that. And so you can start with that one, you can Google some other affirmations or you can come up with your own. I know it's challenging uh, to do new things and to try new things, especially when you're in that moment of being triggered. But I believe you and I know you can do this or you can always pull up the video and do it along with me. If this video has been helpful, will you do me a favor? Please share this with a loved one who needs support in their healing journey. Also, remember to subscribe, click the bell, and watch the next video. Until next time, keep shining. We need your light.